Hi folks, my name is Madeline and I'm working with the Chapman Learning Commons. Today I will be teaching you how to use the mic, camera, and chat feature in Zoom. If you're unfamiliar with how to log on to Zoom, please see one of our three videos titled How to Log On to Zoom. The instructions in this video assume that you are already logged on. This video will cover how to turn your camera on and off, how to turn your mic on and off and speak, how to use the chat feature, and how to leave the meeting. We will start by turning the camera on and off in Zoom. You can do this using the camera icon on the bottom left. Clicking the camera will allow you to turn your video on or off. If the camera has a diagonal red line through it, that means your camera is off. Click the icon to turn your camera on. If your camera is on, click the icon to turn it off. When your camera is on, you will be able to see yourself or whatever your camera sees on your screen. When your camera is off, your square will display your name or your profile picture if your account has one. What you see in your square is what everyone else sees too. To turn your mic on or off, click the mic icon at the bottom left. If the mic has a diagonal red line through it, that means your mic is off. Clicking the icon will turn it on. Otherwise, it is on and clicking it will turn it off. Speaking in Zoom is just as simple as talking on the phone. Once your mic is on, just speak in the same way that you would if you were face to face with that person in real life. If you've forgotten to turn your mic on, Zoom will remind you that you are muted. You will get a message on your screen that says, you are muted now. Press Shift Command A to unmute your microphone, or press and hold the space key to temporarily unmute. You can do either of these to unmute, or you can simply press the mic icon to unmute. If your meeting host requires you to raise your hand before speaking, you can do so using the reactions icon on the bottom right. Clicking this icon will give you a small pop-up tab with many options in the form of icons and a long button at the bottom that says raise hand with a hand icon. Click this to raise your hand. A small hand will appear in the corner of your screen for the meeting host to see and should get their attention if you wish to speak. To lower your hand, click the reactions icon again and now the button at the bottom will read lower hand with the same hand icon. Clicking this will remove the hand from the corner of your screen. You can use the reactions icon for the other buttons too. For example, if you wish to react to something someone has just said, you can click the green check button and a green check mark will appear in your screen for everyone to see. This will go away on its own after a few seconds. This is how to use the chat feature in Zoom. On the bottom panel, directly to the left of the green share screen icon, you will see the chat icon. Clicking the chat icon will open a new tab in Zoom and will show you all the chat messages in the Zoom since you've joined. To add a chat, click on the bottom where it says type message here and begin typing your message. Once you are done, press return or enter on your keyboard. This will put your message in the chat for everyone to see. You also have the option to message someone privately in Zoom. Just above where it says type message here, you will notice a button that says everyone. If you click it, you will see a drop-down menu of the names of the people you can message privately. This should include the host of your meeting. Depending on how the host has set up the chat, you may find a list of the other participants of the meeting. Clicking on any of these names will allow you to message that person privately. When you send your message, at the top it will say, me to the person, privately in brackets in red on the right. To go back to everyone, just click on the name button above the type message here bar and click on the everyone option. To exit the chat, simply click the chat icon again. If you are in full screen mode, opening the chat will look like this. The functionality is the same. Once you are done with the meeting, either the host will end the meeting for everyone or you will leave. If you choose to leave, there is a red button at the bottom panel to the right that says leave. When you click this, Zoom will ask you to confirm by showing another red button that says leave meeting. Clicking this will exit you from the meeting. Now you know how to use your mic, camera, chat, and leave a meeting in Zoom. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit learningcommons.ubc.ca.